Okay, so the very first thing you always want to do is you want to simply install Facebook Pixel Helper. This Facebook Pixel Helper right here, when you Google it, it this is a free plugin that will sit here at the top right. And all it is is an extension. It's a plugin. It's free. You just um, install it, Facebook Pixel Helper, and it, and it sits right here. And all it does is it, it lets you know which websites have a pixel. And whenever you're surfing the internet, I don't care if you're on you know, some random website buying a bag or buying shoes or buying hair product, whatever. Whenever you're on a random website, this thing will light up because chances are that website will have their pixel on it. Most people that have a website today, a landing page, a sales funnel, a website, whatever the heck you want to call it. Most people today have their pixel on it and their pixel doesn't, you don't need, you don't need to be running Facebook ads to have a pixel on your website. You can have a pixel on your website, no matter if you're running ads or not. So up here, whenever I'm surfing the internet, I don't care if someone's pixeling me like that. Don't, I don't care. Like it doesn't, it doesn't matter. There, there's no reason to worry about privacy or anything like that. There's not, it has nothing to do with any of that. Um, it just, it just lets you know if, if someone has a pixel on you. Now I don't have this up here because I care who has a pixel on me. I don't care who has a pixel on me. I just have it up here so I can test my pages. So when I go to my web page, I can come up here and make sure that my pixel is installed correctly. And so in this case, when we're looking at your page, there's no pixel. We come to the thank you page. There's no pixel. So what I'm going to do right now is, again, I already have it installed. So this is the first thing anybody wants to do is install the Facebook Pixel Helper. And then once you install it, it'll sit up here. And again, whenever whenever you're on a website and it's gray, there's no pixel on there. And then and then once and just just like this, there's no pixel on there. But once we install the pixel, then we'll come back over here and we'll look at it and we'll see if it's gray or if it changes a color. And so here's what we're going to do. So now we're over here in your uh, Kartra and I'm going to simply come into the edit. So we'll start with the landing page. And we'll simply come in here and we're going to go to the top left. And this is the first thing that I normally do. Like when, whenever I'm working on a, on a page, the first thing I do when I, whether it's a brand new page or whether, whether it's something I'm working on, no matter what, like what I always want to do when I come into the page for the first time is make sure that I come to the settings. And there's two things that I do. I change the title of the tab. So right here, you can see my my tabs right here at the top. Ads manager, storytelling, storytelling. So right away, what I always do is I'll change the title if needed. Now yours are already updated, so that's good. Storytelling Masterclass Register. Storytell master, Masterclass TY. So yours is already, is already customized and changed. So that's good. That's step one. I come in here, hit settings, change the page title right away. And that's right here in SEO parameters right here, right? You change the page title. But the second thing I do right away is I always make sure that my pixel is installed. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on settings and I'm going to come down to tracking code and the pixel goes right here. Embed Facebook ads tracking code. So here's how you get to the, to the Facebook pixel. So uh -huh. from your... And, and just from Facebook, you know, just taking you straight from the beginning, if you just go into your Facebook account, and I do all this from my computer, I don't try to do it from a cell phone, do it, do everything from your actual laptop or your desktop. So you always come in here to your page, click on the home here at the top, and then over here to the left, you should see um, either business manager or you should see ads manager over here on the left. If you got to click on see more, click on see more. And then there goes business manager. So that's the one we want. We don't want ads. We want business manager or ads manager. That's what you're looking for. So in your case, it's business manager. So we're going to click on that. And we're going to come into, into this dashboard right here. And then all we're going to do to the left is we're going to go to, we're going to simply, we're going to simply start from the beginning. So I want to take you from the beginning. We're going to click on, click on ads manager. So when you click on ads manager, this is the actual dashboard. This is where all the ads are ran from. But but as you're navigating through, through the dashboard, Facebook will always put you in a different ad account. By default, sometimes they'll switch you to your old account. So you always want to make sure that you're checking this up here. As you navigate and click on different things in the, in the platform, always make sure this is the correct account you should be in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just double check. I mean, and, and this is a question that I have for you. Which account are we working in? Are we working in the top one or are we working in this bottom one? What is the, what? 
See, they're different accounts. So if I click on that top account, here's previous ads, you know, maybe from, from, from before. And then if I click on the other account, this is the, the new account. In fact, we're going to be working out of this one. This is the one you ran or we ran the conversions ad before for the, for the ebook. So this is the one. So that's why it's very important to always make sure you know which account you're in because this account, Christy Ad Manager, uh -huh. this account has its own pixel. The other account has its own pixel. So I don't want to be, by default, I don't want to be surfing through the platform and then Facebook has me in this account and then I come, I come over here and get the pixel and then I add this pixel to my page right? I don't want to do that. So I always want to make sure I'm in the right account. So I'm going to come down here to the ad manager one. This is the right account. So now that I'm in that account, I'm going to click on the dots to the left and I'm going to go to events manager. This is where we find our pixel. So we come in here to the events manager and to the left, actually right here in the middle, we'll see add events. And, and, and we're going to see it look like this because we've already activated the pixel. The pixel is already, um, um, it's already activated. So if your pixel is not activated, then you'll just come to this page and there'll be a setup and you'll just simply set up the pixel. But in this case, it's already, it's already activated. All we have to do is, is get it to add to the new page. And so in this case, I want to turn on automatic matching. That just allows Facebook to, as you're running ads, it allows Facebook to, to get to, to look for more data um, that, that, that um, could be available for this lead, for the lead. So all we're going to do is we're going to turn that on, and then I'm going to scroll down, and right here, add events. First of all, let me check what websites. Okay, Kartra is there, Entreport. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now all I want to do is- I don't see Entreport no more. And then I get confused. Okay, what that's fine. Thinking? That's okay. fine. That's fine. But all we're going to do is we're going to click on add events. So mm -hmm. again, actually, look over here to the left. Look, it, it took me to that other account. So so all I want to do is I want to make sure as long as this right here, Chrissy's ad manager, as long as this is matching, then we're fine. So yeah, we're fine. So click on this and we're going to go from a new website. Install code manually. Hit the green button copy code and then i'm going to hit continue make sure that this is all blue make sure it's all blue if you see one that happens to be gray like that turn off turn back on and now all of them are blue so you want to make sure all of them are blue and all this is automatic advanced matching use information that your customers have already provided to your business such as their email address phone or phone addresses or phone numbers to match your websites visitors to people who are on facebook so this can help you attribute more conversions to your ads on Facebook and reach more people through remarketing campaigns. So just turn all everything on, hit continue, and then we X out. Now we copied the code. We click the green button. We have it copied. So now we're going to come over here to Kartra and we're going to simply paste can it I right ask there. A question? Where, where's the green? How, where did you get that? I'm sorry. What? The, code, the, uh, the pixel. I just showed you. I just, I just showed you from a new website, install code manually. The pixel is right here. I copy oh, code. Oh, I couldn't see. Okay, I see. You. Drag that okay. Zoom thing out the window if it's in your way. Dr to click and okay. drag it out the way. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so it's right here. We copy code and then, and then we just hit continue. Make sure they're all blue. Continue, X out. And then I pasted it in over here. And every time you do anything, over here to the side, always click apply. Okay. So now what we have to do is we have to save progress. Always make sure you save progress. Always make sure you publish live. And then now we're good. So there's the link. It's already customized storytelling. And now look what we're going to do. So now we come back up to the landing page. This was the landing page before this thing was gray no pixels found now oh, if i come yeah. over here what let's see it no i see the green what green no that is it that sign that on, on the very top is that is that the because the pixel is there no there's nothing green yet oh there, can you see my screen yeah I'm still, okay go ahead okay so no pixels found right but if i refresh the page now let's see if the pixel is there so now it lights up blue 
it lights up green. We see the number two. Now we click on it and there is your pixel. Mm. Oh, okay. 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 That's so probably... the mm -hmm. pixel is now on the landing page. Now over here, here's the thank you page. So what I'm going to do now is I already have it copied. I still have it copied. So what I want to do is I'm going to return a dashboard. That's the landing page. Now what I want to do is very, very, very important that I also put it on the thank you page. So I'm going to come in here to the thank you page. We click on settings and then all we're going to do is simply come back tracking code and paste it down here at the top at the bottom. So now we paste it in, click apply. And now if I save progress, now that pixel is also on the thank you page. Okay, that's that's step one. That's the most important is is adding that pixel. So now now if we come up here, so let's just return a dashboard. Let's get out of here. Let's return a dashboard. So now if I come over here, then I refresh. So again, it's gray, no pixels found. But if I refresh it, now it lights up. Now if I click on it, it'll let me know Christie's Ads Manager Pixel is installed. Okay, so that's how Facebook has so much data on everybody because most websites today have a pixel on it. And so that's why so like if I want to put this this same pixel on my website all I need to do is copy it all you got to do is watch this video 15 million more times that's all you got to do I got I recorded the whole damn thing for you so just re no, 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 no. I said no you, that, that's what I'm saying all I gotta do is just yeah do this everything you did yeah, that's okay. it. Yeah, but you and, and you want to put that on all of your pages like all your pages should have that pixel all of these pages should have that pixel. Okay, so when you say all these pages, what do you mean? Oh, you mean thank you page and landing page? No, every page inside your entire existence of Kartra, like other than these pages that are mine and you haven't done anything with them. Yeah, your pages, whatever pages you're bringing to the marketplace, that pixel needs to be on all of them. All of them, okay. especially okay, this one right here, the eight week course, especially this one, the sales page, especially this one. Your pixel has to be on this one for sure. So I might as well add it real quick. Okay, so we'll just let it load and then click on settings to the left and do the same thing. That's all we're doing is just simply clicking on tracking. And most websites too, like most landing pages, whatever software you're using, it's all the same. You just add that pixel in the, in the tracking section. And in this, in this case with Kartra, it, it says specifically Facebook. So you just simply paste it in right there. So right here at the bottom, we'll paste in that code, click apply. And there it is there. So we're gonna save progress, um, publish live, and then return to dashboard. Okay, so that's how you install a Facebook pixel in 2021. So any questions about the pixel at all? No, I just have to go watch the video. Yeah. Okay. So if I refresh this pixel page over here inside the ads manager, and when you have that, that red uh, triangle giving you some type of just error or update, uh -huh. all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it and then just click ignore. So let me, um, because all it's telling me is that there's a new website that's, that's, that's reading or there's a, yeah, there's a new website. Watch if I click on it, it will just simply say that there's a new, new domain sending data which is a solo solo to group checklist so that's fine i just click ignore and, and no big deal okay and then we're good so that that right there is is how you how you install your facebook pixel so again from the top if i just click click on the dots i'm going to go to events manager and then and then because your pixels already activated all you're going to do is click on add events right here so in the middle, you'll see Christie's ad manager right here. Make sure you're in the right pixel. Uh, make sure that this up here, this drop down Christie's ad manager, make sure that that right there reads that. And then down here, add events from a new website, install code manually, copy code, continue, make sure it's all blue, continue, X out.
Now that code is copied. Now I can go paste it wherever I want. So my pixel is the same number, the same every Yeah, time. the same for all your pages. Yep, it's the same. Okay, we're just copying it and putting it on each page. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so um, 